This series all tied at one apiece. Terrific game in game two. Paul George had a very quiet night. That's a great start for him to get one. He was two for ten from behind the three-point arc. Shannon can't connect there. Zubat said he'll score it. Clippers do have some rim protection. It's those moments when he's out, when they like to go small, and they trust their perimeter defense, Chris. That's been a huge fail for the Clippers in the first two games. I, I, I asked Coach Doc Rivers, how does your team, does Porzingis get to his sweet spot? How and you see that Paul George, and you have the Marcus Morris able to pick him up if need be on defense. Probably see Kawhi on him a good bit. They'll be changing it up a lot. Kleba gets to the rack and scores. Actually, Kleba inserted into the starting lineup for this playoff series. This is the lineup with Kleba in it. They didn't play much together during the regular years. Doc Rivers is concerned about that calf injury. It is something that could linger for Patrick Beverly, and he's missing his second consecutive game. It's a huge loss for Los Angeles. Well, that's why they're going with Shamit this time, and he's a very solid defender. As well. oh, Fingers lets one go. Deep range. That foul's picked up his fifth foul early in the fourth. He was trying to keep his way in the game, but Carlisle ha was having none of it. Although earlier in the game, Doncic did convince Carlisle to keep him in the game after he picked up his third. Kawhi going to work on Kleba, and finally hits. Now, with Porzingis being such a great shooter, he can fade on the pick and roll. So that puts the big man on defense in no man's land. And that one play, this play right here is giving the Clippers so much trouble. And Luka gets by them all and scores at the rim. You saw Montrez Harrell check lots out. Dallas spreads it out. Doc Rivers was so emphatic with his team. No more blow-bys. Luka Doncic has been tearing them apart in this series. Ball on the floor. George has it. Shot clock at eight. Got time here. Kick it to the corner. Morris for three. He's got a three-pointer. First of the game. And the flailing of the arms by Porzingis made it look worse than it was. As Doncic misses a three. Kept alive. Hardaway Jr. gives the Mavericks a and put it back. But he needs to get that wind. And it looks like Montrose Harrell is now starting to get that energy. One of the most energetic guys in the league. Get the goal. Here's Morris on the take, looking for Harrell again. Bumping his way in, and Harrell scores on Porzingis. Oh, you get the virtual logos, but you're still in the bubble. Reggie Jackson on the floor for the first time. Kawhi, a little turnaround. Ooh, he's got it cooking early. Kawhi, it's production. Dallas gave him a bit of their own medicine. Good leave, Harrell. No, the foul by Morris. He gets it to go. Porzingis hit with a loose ball foul. It's an 8-0 Clippers run. Jackson in the corner. Finney Smith clears it away. Mavericks moving it with Seth Curry at the controls. He had a quick nine-point burst in the third quarter in game two, and he launches one from deep range. Seth Curry with gets out of defensively. Look at that right there, switching up on, Ky on Kawhi, getting the steal. And Burke gives it. Nice fake behind the back, leaves it on the bounce. Just took one step back. Here's the lob right up ahead. Nice pass from Luka. Landry Shannon got the start tonight. Oh, two-handed jam on Kawhi now with four rebounds to go along with eight points. Crossover Doncic, a little stumble there. And Zubats on the feed from Kawhi. Series that could go all the way. Clippers a two seed. Dallas the seven seed. Los Angeles on a 7-0 run. Dallas trying to stop that. And Trey Burke, a guy that got to the... Morris got switched on to Porzingis and was in no man's land. Turnover. Shamit threw it away. Here's Burke again. On the drive. Burke. Layup is good. Back-to-back -back possessions. Players that can make that player better as well. And the spacing of guys Burke. like Burke, uh, Porzingis, and others allows him to play his game, which is quick, downhill, and to get in the lanes looking for shooters outside. Finding players who have talent that are hungry, too, yes. goes into it as well as Zubats scores at the rim. Remember, all Doncic with George on him. Redirect. Got a hand on it. Did Kawhi Leonard force a turnover? Leonard all the way to the rack. He'll take it down as Kawhi Leonard. And not just the pressure of him scoring, but making it even easy for others. Double-digit lead. Kawhi Leonard can't hit the three. Mavericks. Down 11, Doncic with Leonard on him. There's Porzingis, he passes up a three. Now he'll pull it, and he'll hit it.
Put stops. Doc Rivers just looked at Zubas and frustrated, saying, you know we're supposed to get up on the three-point line. Don't give him any room and expect Porzingis to see that next time and to attack that front foot and drive. Shamit with that beautiful stroke. A report from the Mavericks locker room. What do you have, Jared? B.A., the message at halftime was do it harder and do it smarter. The Mavericks want to tighten up their defense. They said too many missed shots turned into clipper fast break points. They told us before the game they just need time on the floor together. They've had so many absences in the seeding games. Doncic leaves it for Porzingis. Trying to get back in the game, but the Clippers, they're playing like they have championship aspirations, trying to get stops on D. Up top for Porzingis, back to back. Ooh. Gives it right back to Luka, and Luka fires from deep. I would love to see Luka drive there. It's been twice the Zubak has been on him at the top of the key, and he's settled for the jump shot. You can penetrate on great defenders that are guard penetrators. Penetrators felt fortunate to get away with a win. Here's Hardaway for three, back iron, Morris the board. Dallas had an answer for him in game two. Doc Rivers said he feels fortunate to be even in this series. Nice bullet pass from Kawhi. Shaman Zingas with 19. Those were his first free throws of the night. 12 point Clipper lead with the ball. Shamit steps into one. Boy, Kawhi Leonard put it right in the pot. He and Doncic staring at a double double tonight. Luka misses a three, gets his own on the drive. Patient, Doncic scores it. Resilient, that's the frustration continues. Dallas will be in the bonus the rest of the way. Kick it to the corner. That's Hardaway for three. He's got it. Just like Paul George into a team that was in the first round last year, a playoff team, had this great bench in Montrez Harrell and Lou Williams, but they've added significantly for this particular run. Seth Curry hits a three the year before and set an environment where even if we don't have stars we're fighting for the playoffs we're not fighting for draft picks and that was soiled and fertile ground for Kawhi and him to come and say okay these guys want to be winners and that's what we want to be they're not going to settle Reggie Jackson for three and that one falls a soft rim over there in game two at 16 points a new career best for him Seth Curry Trey Burke and here's Burke for three. He's got it. Boy, that's a good way to get back. Strong at the basket. He had a couple of those in the first half. Benny Smith finds his man Hardaway. In the corner, another three. Tim Howard, Kawhi with eight rebounds, 23 points. Kawhi waves out Lou and says, I'm going to be the decoy on this play. I'm either going to score or I'm going to get it to the person that's going to score. And Leonard is bumped and counted. Kawhi ramp, which was a cause for concern, but Doncic is returning under his own power. Burks runs the point in the meantime. Good ball movement here. Michael kicks Gilchrist his first minutes of the game now. And Hardaway hangs and scores. And let's check in. Double to return after spraining his left ankle, D.A. And that, that went from awful looking, just the way the ankle looked, then the wheelchair scenario. Obviously, he waved all of that off. That's a huge turn for the Mavericks as Reggie Jackson hits a miss. Yeah, when we're talking about Luka, I, I suspect that he's doing it on heart and adrenaline. Uh, he wants to be back there on with these guys in the war. Hardaway fires, and he's got another one. He's had a good straight. He's having a great series. He wants to go get some buckets. He is a rebound and an assist away from a triple-double. Seth Curry with a three-pointer up and in. A bubble of one and done. I like and try that. to get the, our lives back the way we know it. Curry with the oh. scoop with a one-hander. Nice finish. By Curry now with 17 points. It's a playoff best for him. Lou Williams. That's vintage right there. Such a beautiful. Get up on him too close. He's going to get a shoulder and an and one. So tough to guard. Back to a 16 point game. Doncic giving it all he can. But the ball's been in the hands of the others for the most part. Burke runs into a wall. Jackson on Curry. Curry gets a step on him, and the layup is good. What a finish. A specialist is nothing but a guy that can do just one thing. Curry is not a three-point specialist. He can specialize from the three-point line or specialize getting to the cup. Jamal.
explosive offensive teams. Difference being the Clippers, one of the best defensive teams as well in the NBA. Only the Lakers join the Clippers as teams with offensive and defensive ratings in the top five this year. Three ball is good for Finney Smith in the triple double, his lowest scoring game in his first playoffs. And for him, hopefully. He's still encouraged and just worried about coming back because all you can do is all you can do and he's done it all tonight. Burke rattles home a three. Notice Cole it left Burke wide open though. And this Dallas bench who was so brilliant in game two. Keeping him within striking distance right now. 12 point Clipper lead. Kawhi attacks Boban. Eight assists. The potential of a triple double as well. Burke misses the three. Williams with a rebound. Williams just missed Kawhi in that post up area wide open. Behind the back, Montrez Harrell. Oh, the two. Yeah, and the team BA has confirmed that with that left ankle sprain, Luka Doncic will not confirm, will not return if we get any more information. Blazers get a swift blow with that news from one of their big men. 14 point game. Mavericks looking to capitalize here. Porzingis on the run to the rim. He scores the layup. Is their point guard. If you notice, he's been the ball handler in the last few plays, but he turned it over on this one. And Finney Smith brings the Mavericks within. Listen, we can do it. Stick to the tenets of our offense and defense. Kawhi Leonard at the controls here finds George and another bad shooting night for Paul George And Kawhi is looking for him. Benny Smith is on him a great defender George back to Leonard those two all the touches and Kawhi with a big three three Clippers won game one Mavericks punch back and delivered a victory in game two Kawhi Leonard on the drive and a left-handed jam now Maxi Kleba doing all he can. Kawhi powers his way in. No. And it's into the hands of Morris. Leonard kept it alive. Second chance opportunity for the Clippers. George leaves it for Zubats. There being that he hasn't had a great game and just trying to get a layup and finds an open man. Those are the type of plays that really frustrate a team that's trying to get back into it. Finney Smith all the way in gets a layup. You can never assume that the game is done. He'll step back hard away. He's been hot tonight, but he's missed his last two three-pointers. Opportunity to miss for Dallas. See if the Clippers have an answer now. They're up 12. Got a lot of Kawhi tonight, sitting on 34 points. Morris, bullet pass, Shaman. Shaman hands and scores. He's dunked up. Paul George will pull. Boy, that one missed badly. Just stuck it right in the neck. New life for Dallas here. Curry, sidestep, three-pointer is up, and it rattles home. A career playoff high, 22. He's got 10 in the fourth quarter alone. Four for four from behind the arc. Big possession right here. George on the take, stops, trying to get Porzingis up, and a flurry of moves, Paul George. Ten in the quarter, has 22 for the game, he's made all four of his threes. Big possession for Dallas, if they've got a fighting chance in this one, Hardaway, shell it all over him, Hardaway goes to the hole, off the window, gets the bounce. Pressure from the Mavs now, just trying to get a little bit of a turnover, or force the Clippers into a quick shot, which they should take it away. Three possession game. Lead is nine for the Clippers. Lou Williams leads it up top for Zubats. Cue it up again on Sunday with these two. We'll have game five for you on Tuesday as Porzingis hit. And Porzingis falls down. Kawhi trying to tie him up. And a turnover, and that'll put a fork in it for game three so the Clippers hard-fought battle low scoring first quarter knew it was going to be a clash tonight but the Clippers hang on they win by eight and they take a 2-1 series advantage in this best of